Thank you guys for watching. Well, thank you for that wonderful, amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl. You're welcome, Dad. As you can see, Miraculous Girl is going to be helping us unbox today's, well, unbag today's Grim Workshop bag. Um, before we get started on that real quick, sorry we've been a little absent. <coughs> I may cough a few times during this video. I've been on the, <coughs> I've been recovering. Um, from something that was pretty sick. Um, Raglas Girl, you might notice, has a bit of a stuffy nose herself, but that just started today. I've been sick for two weeks. So, hopefully, uh, I'm done with that, and, or at least, I'm quicker to recover. Anyway, uh, one thing I would say is, is I did use these, uh, this item here, uh, during that. So Miraculous Girl could read my temperature to me. Uh, these are the Temp and Toss uh, Fast and Accurate Readings, and they actually do work very good. And you can keep them on your head for quite some time. Although, at one point in time, I was getting so sweaty that uh, it actually started to get less sticky. Uh, and so it did not... It ripped. Yeah, it ripped, didn't it? Um, but anyway, but they did, they were accurate as far as their readings were going. And it worked for a good three quarters of the day. So, there was that. Anyway, so, so we're going to open this with the Revolt Reflux Reflex from our most recent Battle Box Mission 81. Uh, it's a pretty cool knife. I really like it. Anyway, let's give this... And open and take out our little item card here and uh oh check this out looks like they sent us some goodies huh <laughs> yeah all right so we have some cards here. Ah, kind of picking up a little bit of a Charles Dickens Christmas theme here. The there are two tip cards here. Uh, the cards, and I'm going to start with the past. So we have three here: past, uh, present, and future. So here is the past card. Um, I don't know how far back it is. Uh, it is a dog, actually it's two tools. There's a dog tag tool and chain with a silencer and So this a, is a dog tag tool? Yes, that is the dog tag tool. Why is it called that? Well, in the military, they wear these tags and they're called dog tags. It has all their information on them. Oh. But they're exactly this sh sh uh, shape. What's this? Uh, that's a different tag. We'll go into each one here. So, this is the first one. And, as you can see, there's a fishing hook and a gig inside of it. Now, this is obviously from the past. It doesn't have the backing material that we used to always get. I don't know... If there's something you could use the inner side for. But yeah, this one is not going to be returnable to the card the way the current ones do. But that's cool. So there, there's your dog tag. And it comes with a dog tag silencer. See, this goes on here. So they don't all clank together. And you know, this fishing one would go really good with the other fishing one. Oops, and I put it on backwards because there are whole lines up there with the fishing one we got last month or the month before. That 
had some hooks on it too. And uh, let's see, what's the other little micro tool that comes with it? Okay, this one looks like maybe the medical one. I don't know, it has a, they usually call this a tick remover. Why is it called that? This says it's, they, cause you've put this little end up under the tick. And again, this one you can tell it's uh, from the past because it doesn't have the backing card on it. And this one actually has two needles, they're curved needles, the tick remover at the end, and then a saw blade on it right here. Or, yeah, a saw blade. I like these. What are your buttons? Why don't you show the buttons to the uh, camera there? I got a little snowman. Right. Snowman. It's kind of cool they put these three buttons in there. And then I got the real Santa. There you go. Then I got this real penguin. A little puffin penguin. Puffin penguin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess I should throw in here now this. Uh, this one, well, they do list some prices on some stuff, um, but not all of it. Interesting. Um, this subscription is twenty dollars a month. It's a flat. It's twenty dollars. Once you pay twenty dollars, uh, that's all you pay. So there is our micro card. Let's bring them up to right there. Now present. Let's do the present one next. This is called the Fisherman Micro Tool. So we got another fishing one here. That other piece might I'm actually. Gonna open it. And take it out and just dump it out right here. Dump it out right here in the middle so they can see. Yeah. Okay. So you want to hold it up, see if the camera can see it. It says the Grimm's Fisherman Micro Tool has a small stainless steel tool that contains a fish scaler and a hook sharpener in one small tool. This tool is the same size as a large paper clip and can replace a zipper on a bag or jacket, fit into a keychain, necklace, or paracord bracelet. Be concealed somewhere on your clothing or you can stack them up in, th in three of, stack them up to Stack them up to three of our tools inside one micro tool silencer for an ultralight EDC setup. These tools can be carried or be stacked into a mini tin as well. Tip this tool can be com combined with Grimm's other fishing micro tools to create a keychain sized fishing kit, which is kind of what I was suggesting there. But let's see here. So we got the fish sharpener and the fish scaler by contrast there and that's pretty cool um and also you could use this as a scraper probably uh when cleaning on the end here because it's thumbnail size which is what i clean my trout with most of the time is my thumbnail uh so anyway uh and it does come with this small clip and then our our final one here is the future. The future. Yeah. All right. So bring it out over here. It's literally the future. All right. So this is pretty awesome. This one has a knife, a fishing spear, yeah. Grim Workshop, a saw. It has a wrap cutout, a lure. It has hooks. Now this is a signature card. I, it's a knife. So it says the Grimm's Future the contains a new prototype that has yet to be released. This new card is the signature card made with Biko Wright. Biko was runner up on the latest season of History Channel's Alone in season eight. Biko is both a bushcraft expert as well as a lead singer in a band. Okay, that explains the guitar pit. 
and musician, which is why his card has a rather unique attribute. Wait for it, his guitar pick. No worries, if you don't know how to play the guitar though, his guitar pick also doubles as a fishing lure. Keep an eye out for Biko's card coming in 2022. Unless, of course, you subscribe. I, so. I could use that. Right? So you have the pick lure on there. You have a lure over on this end. You got the knife. Now, usually I take these knives off and, and add an edge to them. It reflects so much that it, it's changing the lighting on the camera. Um, and then over here, we have two fishing hooks. And we have two different spears. There's a saw blade all along this edge. You have cutouts here to wrap your line. Like I said, the knife. Uh, you have four hooks down here. And uh, these are two needles over here. And here's your guitar pick lure. There's also two holes at the top end here. Uh, you could use those to secure the line as well. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I really like it. I like the knife part where it says knife. It right? It doesn't even look like a knife. Oh, yeah. These, it says these are sewing needles. Um, yeah, and this actually has a file edge on it as well, which is cool because that gives you a way to kind of sharpen your hooks on that edge of that knife. If you can see that at the top back spine there. So, it's, it's coarse on there. So, that's cool. I like that. So that is your knife. Now, this month we got two tip cards. Uh, they've completed their deck. Uh, I plan to go over the deck because I have the full deck now. So, our tip cards are a teepee fire, classic fire burns, great for, for warmth, and then they talk about instructions for making a teepee fire. And it's basically the way you're stacking your wood. Kind of learned some of this stuff from the Boy Scouts years ago. And split roasting, whole chicken. <coughs> and it tells you how to do it, uh, but it has a picture of a pig on the split roast. So what do you think, little girl? You ready to uh, roast a pig? No. Hmm? No. How about a chicken? Uh, I'm fine with the chicken, but not a pig. <laughs> okay. But, but you I'm like bacon? Bacon's not... like your favorite breakfast food. I know, but I can't eat a whole pig. Well, that's true. You don't want to waste it, right? <laughs> um, okay, so in this month's card, they're only pricing out two items. The Future Tool, $21.95, and the Fisherman's Micro Tool at $5.89. Um, so they're not even pricing out this. Buttons are a freebie. Cards are a freebie. They're not pricing that. So, uh, for $20, you got 22, $28 worth of, of stuff plus at MSRP plus everything else. So that's pretty good. They also offer a <coughs> coupon code for 21% off. Um, on cards, tags, and stuff. Um, and that's, I think, part of the subscription. So I'm not going to actually give out the code. But anyway, uh, <coughs> hey, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hit, like, subscribe. Hey, stand up here so they can hear you say it. Hit, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and remember.
Be nice, Be nice to, to each, each other. other. <laughs>